are back hiking into my best, most remote gold claim to look for gold out of the water and underwater. Unlike last time, we actually established a trail. So now we'll have more time underwater and less time looking for looking for the river. I'm really excited to get down there. And because I'm alone here again, I just have to be a little more conscious of where I step. Because if, because if I were to hurt myself, I'm alone, right? I do have my GPS here, which will call in a helicopter if I need to, but that's last resort. Let's just not get hurt today. Finally made it to this area where I've gotten lost many a times, but because we build a trail down this way, I know where to go. I also brought my metal detector because there is some nice bad rock further up once I swim past the deep scary pool. And now I get to go explore it and hopefully find some gold out of the water as well. Okay, we made it. What a beautiful location. Let's put on the wetsuit and begin. I crawled my way upstream kind of where I left off the last time I was here. Not only did I see a jellyfish, but we found our first piece of gold. I oh, just spotted another one, mate. I was like, no way. But yeah, it's right there. Finding natural gold out in the wild like this is a feeling that's hard to explain. It's almost like if Mother Nature stubbed her toe and dropped her jewelry box millions of years ago, and you are the first to rediscover it. Wicked, mate. Now, anytime you are finding gold, there's a high probability there will be more around, so moving the lighter gravel off the bedrock will certainly expose more of that heavy gold. These pieces are quite small, so they're hard to see, but there's a lot of it, which do add up. Even though I am alone today, I use this shot just to show you what it looks like from another perspective. Sort of looks like I'm Spider-Man underwater. And the longer you can hold your breath, the better. Gonna take the highway here. <laughs> I love this little highway. The highway log. All right, here's the stop. So I eventually made it up to where I call the deep scary pool to use the metal detector and do some sniping. I gotta slowly carry all the gear up this up this pool here. My bag and everything is already up there. Just got a target over here. Who knows? You better have gold in you, Chris. I worked this spot for a few minutes, but I wasn't really getting anywhere because I didn't have the right tools. I should have brought a gold pan. I tried to bring material out so I could scan with a detector and hopefully find the target, but it was just too deep, so I'll come back. All right. I just found some gold. I just about missed it. Luckily, my flashlight saved the day. A flashlight definitely makes it easier to spot the gold, especially in these darker canyons. It's something I wish I started using long ago. Boom. 
Breaking off loose bedrock like this is a great habit to get into, especially if you see gravel stuck in the cracks around it. There wasn't anything in this example except for the gold I knocked out with the crowbar. Always worth the look though. I spotted a good looking channel that was pretty shallow and it had a lot of gravel that hasn't moved in a long time, or what's called hard pack. So I spent a bunch of time moving bigger rocks to make it easier to work. I just spent some time moving all these rocks out of the way so I can access this channel. I found a nice piece of ironstone, which means the heavies are falling through here, but I just found an even better sign, gold on hard pack. I literally just popped this rock off of the hard pack and two pieces of gold just showed up. You can probably see them through the water. I feel like another addictive part of looking for gold is you, you ne never know what you're going to get. And you cannot enjoy those exceptional days without first experiencing them many days with nothing. <laughs> it's so hard to see with all this silt. If I move these boulders out of the way, I would have more flow, but I guess I could move some of the rocks up here too to create more flow. I might do that. But after I suck up this piece of gold, I just spotted. I'm trying to work my way down to bedrock, but I definitely need more flow. So I'm just sucking up gold that I see fall out of the gravel. When winter starts and it rains and we get more water, I'll come back here and try to get to the deeper bedrock. In the meantime, moving slowly like this is relaxing, but when you sit still, you get cold fast. I think I found a nice little nugget. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna film it anyway, just in case. <laughs> So I walked upstream here to this shallow flat area. Just started working some of these cracks that are going across the river. And to my surprise, I actually found a nice little bit. Oh. <laughs> I really like this flashlight. I just found more that I would not have seen without it. We're doing pretty good so far. There's still a lot of daylight left, so hopefully we'll We'll do better. I just spent a lot of time moving all these big rocks out of the way so I could work down this crevice. The material's pretty packed, but we'll see if there's gold in there. I'm gonna cut the music for a bit just so you can hear what I hear when I'm working away. A gold sniping ASMR.
Now, I needed more water flow again, so I'm removing some of the rocks that are slowing the stream down to try to increase the pressure. I soon decided against this and I'll just return after some rain. So it's been about a good half an hour of not finding anything and the sun is actually starting to go behind the tree so I want to get out of here pretty quick but it's going to be hard because I just found another piece of gold. <laughs> working upstream earlier I really smoked out downstream so working downstream is gonna be way different <laughs> stuck in the straw that piece is actually pretty chunky still smooth but also still chunky so, bloop. all right I am finally done I've been out here longer than I thought I would be out and I have a bit of a headache, so let's go look at the gold in the gold pan, hike out of here, weigh it all, and then call it. Yeah. I was having so much fun, I didn't realize how far up I've walked. Now I'm gonna walk all the way back down. Okay, so I have everything just hanging up and dripping away so that when I hike out, it's a little bit lighter. And I just realized, or smelt, that my wetsuit, I have never washed it. And I got it in January earlier this year. Let's go sniping. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to wash these things. And for the record, I do not pee in it, so it's not that bad. Okay, let's go see the gold. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I swear I can walk much better in bare feet. Boom, there we are. Not bad, baby. I love the look of the gold in the small pan. It makes the gold look bigger, obviously. Let me see if I can just clean up better one sec. So there she blows. I don't think I've ever said that before. We found gold today, which means there could be more gold around. We have a nice chunky bit here. I was glad to scoop that up right before we ended the video. And also a couple other coarse little bits, but we'll have a closer look when we get back to the house. I also tried using the metal detector, but it was acting up on me for some reason, so I couldn't really effectively use it. All in all, that is a good day. Now, is it more than what we found last time? I don't think so, but it doesn't matter. Let's go home and weigh it. All right, so now that the gold is dry from all the water, I want to just quick show you this piece under the microscope. There's still some beautiful quartz in there, which does mean this piece could be close to the source, mate. And also, the smallest piece of gold we have next to it here. <coughs> Oops. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, is this gold more than what we found last time, which was just under 11 grams? I don't think so, and I think it's actually because I murked up the river too much this time, which made it really difficult for me to see. Come on, baby. Oh, 3.62 grams, so under half of what we found last time. So that's about mm, around $300 US. Not bad for a dip in the river. So I'm gonna put this piece of gold on my website for auction. I think I'm gonna start doing that for every sniping video I do for now on. I find a piece of gold and I put it up for auction at the end of the video. The piece is just under two grams and I'll probably start it off at $1. So check out pioneerpoly.com if you want a chance to get this piece. All right, so the remaining half goes in for the end of the year, and the other half will go into Paydirt. <laughs>